is Noah Miller. And I'm Naomi Miller. We're here to show you how to make a really nifty UHF DTV antenna. All right. right here at home. And Let's get started then. it's homemade, so boom, 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 you can make it. First, we'll be needing a good length of 10, 12, or 14 gauge copper wire. You'll also be needing a tape measure. Then you'll be needing some um, wire cutters. Wire cutters, and you'll also be needing some screwdrivers if you do need. Well, okay. if you, you can get one, two, or three. And probably and something probably to attach your antenna to, too. So yeah. a piece of wood, right? And, and I do also need a piece of wood. Piece of wood. Even if you have another store-bought antenna, it may not be working correctly. So you can always try making this new one. It all depends on what you think is best for your TV. The first step is measuring out your wire and bending it at the right degree. It'll be about 60 inches long, give or take a few inches. The first step is measuring out the wire. You're going to take your tape measure and you're going to measure about three, 9 inches. 3.75 inches first. One, two, then you take this and you're going to bend it at about a 135 degree angle. Perfect. After you've measured out your 3.75 inches, next you're going to have to measure out 9 inches. Once you've got 9 inch, you then bend it at a 90 degree angle. Backwards. Oh, that's fine. Sorry. <laughs> Messed up my broadcast, Daddy. <laughs> After you've bent out that first section of wire, nine inches in total, you then bend out six more sections of it and top the end off with a 3.7 length bent at a 135 degree angle. You then cut it off so you have something that looks pretty much like this. Once you've made one of these pieces of wire, you're not quite finished. You need two to complete the whole antenna. The next step in making your new antenna is to strip the middle part of both antenna. The reason you have to do this is there has to be a metal to metal connection between your two antenna and your transformer. If this connection does not happen, you won't get a signal. First, you need something to put your wire on. We use an old dresser. Now, there are two holes there. Okay, so then we can get this guy. We'll screw him over here. Let's get another one of your black screws. Okay. We got that. Are you screwing that one in, sissy? And it will go Good job. Now again, it's usually easier if you've drilled your pilot holes, but given that this is fiberboard and is really easy to screw into, we're not going to do that. This easy? Time. Oh! Put the rest of our screws in here. Good job, sissy. Could you please hold this? Next, you have to screw down the matching impedance transformer. In short, this is what makes the antenna work. What you do is you stick down the forked part under the screw and screw it down. Okay. If you followed our instructions correctly, you should now have something that looks a little bit like this. This took about half an hour to make, and this is a very easy project. You will, however, need adult supervision for clipping the wires and it attaching the transformer. And and if you need some decorations, then you can use this or something else. This is very handy because it can be disguised as a piece of wall. Maybe a piece, part of the wall or a wood panel. Nobody will know that this is actually a fully functioning DTV radio antenna. Except and it's much easier to make than the ones that you have to go out to the store to buy which takes up a lot of money, and then set up. No, this takes 30 minutes. Adult supervision, yes, but only 30 minutes 
and it cost next to nothing. It was a lot of fun making antennas with your dad, huh? Yes. And we could not make this antenna with our with the help of our of my wonderful sister Naomi Miller and my wonderful father James Miller. He he actually recently went to Portland to help people's TVs and stuff with the DTV so. transition. Yep. Well, and we hope that this transition is very it's a better way for you to watch your TV at home. Thank you for watching our video. Goodbye. Bye. -bye. Bye. I hope you have a great summer.